So once you get your data loaded, I'm going to advise that the first thing you want to do is to actually save the file you are working with. So I'll come right here to file and I'm going to click save as. So I'll just give this file a name that I'll just call intro. Then I can save. So let me call your attention to some things. You see, the reason you have the apply steps area in Power Query and the reason you have the M language powering transformations in Power Query is for every transformation you have done to be on record. If you think about all the transformations you we did previously, we changed the data types of some columns and we also removed some columns, right? Let me just go over to the data view. So in the data view, you can basically see our data after loading. A couple of things you will realize is that we used to have a row ID column that contains those serial numbers and it's no longer here because we removed it before we loaded the data. Some other things you will also notice is the fact that we changed the data type for postal code from numbers to text. So let me go back to the report view. So as I was saying, all these things and all the transformations we have applied basically are on record. That is why you have those things in the apply steps in your Power Query. And the whole essence of those things is that if you have to go back to the source of your data to update that source with more data, you know, you are very likely to update the data source according to how it is programmed. So which means that you will basically still update the serial number column in the data source. You will also update other things, but you know, once you update the serial number data column in the source, the fact is that our own query that is connecting to that source is not going to carry it because within our power query, we have applied some transformations, right? In the source, it is going to be there. But in Power BI here, it's not going to be there because we transformed the data in Power Query before loading. And that's why you have a refresh button right here. And anytime you click on this refresh button, what happens is that Power BI through Power Query is going to try to refresh all those queries step by step. Remember, the source, the navigation, the promoted header, the chain type, and then we removed some columns. So all those transformations are going to be reapplied on the latest data that you have. If you have to go back to Power Query, you just basically have to come here to your home tab and click on transform data. So if I click on transform data now, this will bring me back into the Power Query environment. And if I have some edits to do, maybe I made some mistakes that I would like to correct, or I may want to apply some other additional steps then I can apply those additional steps. And once I'm done again, I will simply go back and close and apply.